what I think is that they are somewhat better at hitting the enemies. It is noticeable, but they're still slow to kill the enemies and they still die a bit too fast. So making them early in the game to be your main fighting force still feels like kind of a bad investment. All right, that's about it. All right, let's test out some cavalry here, see if it can hit stuff. Now, I don't usually do custom battle because believe it or not, it's not exactly the same as the normal game. Surprising, right? Surprising. Anyways. We just want, I just, but for the purposes of seeing whether they will hit enemies, this should be fine. Now, we're just using the tier 3 unit. We're using 25 of them. And the reason for that is that's about what you would pick up early in the game if you went for cavalry troops. You'd get about 25 probably before you started having to deal with enemies. Maybe, you know. And this is just a slightly bigger. 40, I'm going to fight 40 guys. They're tier two units, some infantry, some archers. We just want to see how they do. It doesn't actually matter if they win. We want to see how they react, if they're hitting stuff. Let's see. We'll get started. First, let's just do a good old F1, F3. Good old that. Let's just see. Let's see if we can do this. Now, I don't have mods on this version. This new update version, no mods. Otherwise, using the RTS camera mod would be pretty useful for keeping an eye on these guys. Here they come, so they're they're on a little bit of a hill. Okay, they're gonna come up. Well, you know, I don't know, let's see. They're doing a cycle charge. We killed one, lost one. Okay, they're coming back down. Killed another one. We're getting beat up, that doesn't matter though. Oh, this actually helps us, okay. This actually helps us. Let's see. So these guys are just kind of holding position. Yeah, he just whacked that horse. That's not a spear either. He just hit him with a sword and stopped his horse. We're getting a few of them. They are they are hitting some of them. This is this is uh, some improvement. Now this was 25 tier 3 cavalry versus 40 tier 2. Yeah, okay. Let's try. What if we only have 25 on 25? 25 on 25. This time we're going to just F6 everyone. So... Probably they still do a charge on F6, but we might they might do a little different. Now this is just 25 on 25. We do have an advantage. See the power meter there? We're tier three and they're all mounted. We're on a little hill here, but that, you know, they should be able to still get in there with their swords. Some of them, you know, they're using their swords when they I mean, they uh, so they've killed most of the stuff, but this still seems like they're struggling to hit these last two guys. So I don't know. I mean, there is improvement the fact that they were able to kill quite a few of them, but now it, it seems like they've kind of reverted back to struggling to to use weapons against the enemy. Okay, someone someone did it. Someone did it, but it took quite of a kind of a long time. Okay, well, let's see. We only lost two, though, so that's good. Now, let's see. Let's try... We bump it up. We have the Tier 4... Tier 4 Cavalry, and then... I think I want to go back again to this. Have, like... Let's have 50. So, 25 tier 4, heavy horsemen. Actually, it's 24, because I think it counts us. That's fine. Versus 50, mixed, low tier, archers, and infantry. And, again, we'll do F6. F6 might be better than charge. It might be better letting them have a little more freedom in what they do, but we'll see. So, looks like, yeah, an F6 looks like they're just going, going for it. 
That's an improvement. That many kills is an improvement. Typically doing something like this, you get like maybe one. Okay. They're doing their cycle charge. This is kind of, they still have some trouble because you see they don't do it in an organized way. Some of them kind of go a little bit of ways and come back. Some of them go half the way across the map and come back. It'd be better if they all did it together. Three war horses down the toilet. This is just letting them do their thing. They're outnumbered, but they're twice the tier of these units, you know. They kind of ignore the archers. They wanted, well, that one's going after the archers. And remember, without the RTS mod, we don't have a way of making them fight these archers. So if most of them want to fight the infantry and one of them wants to fight the archers, that's just what they're going to do. Nothing we can do about it. We could try to, you know, put them right on top of the archers and stuff like that. But, you know, they might just get shot in the face right in front of them, too. See, I do like that. I like seeing they are using their weapons better. See, that guy did. That guy got a couple kills. Their general AI isn't so great, though. Like, they are... I am seeing a difference in them connecting their hits. But the fact that they kind of cycle charge in a weird way and that they don't do it in an organized manner is kind of holding them back still. And we're, they're not, they're not going to finish off these 15 troops, I don't think. And again, I just want to say this amount, like getting 24 of these, that's probably what you would get in an early party. Like if this was your go-to, I'm going to build heavy horsemen, you know, you would probably end up with 24. And if you wanted to fight a militia, you might be up against 40, you know, tier two troops like this. This is why, this is why I'm using the tier two troops and that approximate amount is that's what shows up in the game a lot is a brown 40 or so tier two mixed infantry and archers. Okay, okay. We give up. Right? Oh no, there's still two. There's still, believe it or not, there's still two guys out here. Or one guy. There's one other guy out here. Okay. But they win this one. They win this one. Now let's try. Here, I want to try. A, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to try to micro the cavalry. And this might have a good a good outcome we might do good if we manage the cap so we're going on follow me we're gonna go on follow me see what they're doing we'll let them come off of that hill we'll put them put them right here and now now we'll charge them or kind of get behind and try to see if we can turn some. See, some of them turn towards me. They get to come up. Not all of them are going to be facing them. Let them come through and then put them back on. Follow me. Put them, put them up here. And we kind of just go for the same thing again. If you had more than one, more than one group, you could do better. We do the same thing here. Kind of bump through the archers. The infantry did not turn this time. They're in their shield wall, but you know, I think this is still a good idea. Doing the controlled charge, let them come through, follow me. You don't necessarily have to do follow me, you could just do this, but sometimes you, you might want to go further away to do that. Okay, now put them back on charge. Very good, but they're separated from their, they're separated from the archers. We're helping a little, we're helping a little. Charge again. They're still, you know, they're killing some of them. It's better than it used to be, but it's not. It's still 
far from perfect. That guy's stuck in the infantry. That's too bad. Okay, three. Go get him. Lost one. Is that our first one? We've lost two. Okay. Go through. Go over there. <coughs> Everybody out. Everybody out. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Charge. <laughs> That's what I say too, Camel. Let's see, what are we doing? We got I have one left. Are they running away? Okay. We still lost eight of them, and this was with us helping with us helping both the charge and kinda distract the troops when it took a long time. That took probably, no joke, like 10 times longer than if you would have used horse archers or, you know, any mid-tier archers. It took a long time. And we still lost eight of them. That's eight war horses down the toilet. Like if you did this in the game, you built a party of 25. Eight war horses down the drain. If you were playing this in a normal game and you made 24 of them and fought a oh, 40, 58, I guess. 50 man party. This is like the size of a small Lord's party when they're still trying to recruit. You know, they only have tier two units size of a militia in a village or a small Lord's party. And we still lost eight troops. With, with helping them out a lot. In that. Okay. So just to wrap up here, what I think is that they are somewhat better at hitting the enemies. It is noticeable, but they're still slow to kill the enemies and they still die a bit too fast. So making them early in the game to be your main fighting force still feels like kind of a bad investment. All right, that's about it.